going on everybody my name is Marcus welcome back to another video guys sorry about the noise in the background I got Johnny Cajun Roots reseller going on the radio this morning uh, on my way to st. Louis currently guys to the Goodwill bands gonna load up on some inventory so I can flip it for a profit on eBay so stay tuned guys and I'll show you what I got in my haul later on all right guys so it looks like I got here a little late I'm looking through these bins trying to find some jeans and I'm just coming across bunk brand after bunk brand do you guys sell DKNY I don't I got this whole pile of stuff over there that I've gone through already with no avail uh, kids clothes I don't really sell a bunch of kids clothes but I'm gonna keep going through these bins guys and keep trying to find these wins and uh, wish me luck guys I found this Eileen Fisher shirt it's like a tank top I think I've heard from the fire resellers that Eileen Fisher sells well, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Hopefully I can get like 10 bucks for it or something since it's just a tank top. What is this? Candies, candies jeans don't sell well. I'm just looking for any home runs guys, any good jean brands honestly that's gonna sell well. Levi's Denison doesn't sell well. Not a lot of luck so far, guys. Can't go wrong with the Nike cargo sweats. These I might end up keeping actually, just cause uh, I wear sweatpants all the time. I pretty much live in them and they do run big. So these are a small, but they'll fit more like a medium. Cause I've had a pair of these that were a medium that fit like an extra large. So I'm gonna try these on and if they don't fit, then I'll slang them on eBay. But for now, these are gonna be mine. Okay guys, so I found this Rick and Morty ugly Christmas sweater and it feels new, but since it's kind of got debris all over it, I'm probably gonna have to wash it so I can't sell it as new. But check this out guys. There's 30 sold, let me show you. There's 10 listed. We're gonna filter this, the listings to sold listings. 10 listed, 30 sold. 35 best offer, 20 best offer, 30 best offer, 18 best offer. All of them best offers taken, but I should be able to get a pretty good return off of this shirt right here, guys. All right, guys, so I got these Carhartt pants. Thing about them is the belt loops broken, but I can get that sewed back on there and then sell these for about $20, man. No need to be greedy with these car hearts, especially because the bottoms are torn. So they'll sell quick just because car hearts are popping right now. But uh, I might even discount them a little bit more just to get them gone quick. Turn a dollar something into like 15 bucks. So I got these TK Axel Wilcott jeans. The thing about these jeans, guys, is they sell these at Sam's Club. But check this out three listed 12 sold for this size right here 1866 26 22 25 23 25 28 and they sell these at sam's club guys for 17 dollars brand new but here we are selling them on ebay for 35 bucks let's go so i got another one these black ones are like pretty much brand new I've actually sold a bunch of these uh, in the past, man. I got like 17 of them from a one guy at a yard sale. Uh, these right here will sell for about 18 bucks and uh, they'll sell pretty quick. So pretty good find here. Levi's 560. I tell you guys all the time to be on the lookout for these. There's no need for me to look these up. I've sold them hand over fist. And the good thing about them is it's the comfort fit one. Now there's a guy on eBay that buys these, man. I swear he has this listing saved and anytime people list them, he automatically buys them. So I'm pretty sure he'll buy these too. All right guys, so another one to look out for is the Levi's 527. These right here sell pretty well. So there's 71 listed in used condition. So you wanna go filter to the solds. And this is gonna be 81 sold for 29 best offer 21 15 12 20 17 26 20 
comps are all over the place, but I sold a pair of these yesterday for 22 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these two guys. All right guys, so I wanna give you guys an update on the new listing system. So here's my new photo station. Um, I just essentially went to Menards. It's like, it's like Lowe's competition for the neighborhood that I live in. I got this board that was um, four by eight feet long and then I cut two feet off of it. So now I got this board that's four by six feet long or four wide, six feet long. And I just got this drop cloth and uh, clipped it on the back of it and uh, uh, over the door hanger and um, a retail hanger, a uh, clothing hanger so I can flip the clothing around and uh, a yardstick to do my measurements with. So I'll just, you know, so I just take my photos, put my measurements in there, each one, and then, uh, you know, flip it over. Process is a lot quicker, stream, more streamlined. And I timed my process tonight, guys. So I did 15 listings in two hours and 40 minutes. So making progress, I'm getting a little bit faster. Um, hopefully once I get the swing of this whole new system down, I'll get a whole lot faster and be able to start knocking out 15, you know, listings in an hour maybe. So that's the goal to shoot for. Uh, that way, you know, 2022, I can really scale this business and do some really significant numbers. So that's just the update, guys. So here's the three bags of everything that I got from the bins today. I got a lot of stuff, guys. 77 items in total. Uh, this is all listed inventory. That's the 15 items that I listed tonight, including this pair of Carhartts right here. And then I got a uh, load in the dryer getting cleaned up right now. So, man, it was a really fruitful day there at the bins. It's usually not like that, guys. So I'm glad I got as many items as I did. So I got this in the mail from Travis at Barter Mania. It's a Christmas card. So we'll go ahead and open this deal up. Uh oh. So it's a Christmas tree ornament. Barter Mania buy sell trade. Christmas 2021. Cheers, Travis. Thanks, bro. With the card. The card says, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Marcus. Hope you have a great Christmas uh, with family plus amazing 2022. Cheers, Travis. Wishing you a Christmas filled with family, friends, and simple joys. Travis at Bartermania. That's what's up. Thanks, bro. Really appreciate the card, man. So we're here at my store, June, getting ready to pull my orders. But first, I want to show you guys this pair of Levi's 560 that I picked up yesterday at uh, the Benz. It already sold for $29.70. These Levi's 560 constantly get bought by the same buyer. Uh, it's a store on eBay called Rock and Roll Jeans. I guess they have like this saved search of Levi's 560 comfort fit exclusively because every time guys without fail, as soon as I list those Levi's 560 comfort fit, this guy buys them instantly so like either he's got a va or a bot or the save searched for it uh because he's the one that always buys them they whoever she whatever the store is so i go to the store guys and these guys let me just go to the store and show you so look i go to their store levi's 560 comfort fit levi's 560 comfort fit levi's 560 levi's 560 levi's 560 34.95 49.95 24.95 89.95, 89.95, 49.95, 34 So I don't know, guys. Like, this person's got so much positive feedback. 14,000 items sold, 100% positive feedback. Their whole store is based around Levi's 560. It's crazy. Well, Levi's 540. Never even heard of 540, but still. All these jeans, guys, that this person's selling. So, I guess he's doing online arbitrage from eBay, buying 560s from buyers and then reselling them for a profit. That guy bought those for 39 bucks for me, so I really don't know where his profit's coming from. But hey, more power to you guys. It just goes to show you, you can do 
whatever you set your mind to, this guy's based his whole business model around the Levi's 560. So, hey, more power to you. Anyway, let me go ahead and pull the next order because I don't have those jeans with me. I left them at the house since I literally just listed them yesterday. So the next order is going to be this World War II patch. Uh, let me pull it. I got this whole container of these uh, patches. I think that's not it. Let's see. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Hmm. Oh, the keys. Okay, there we go. So this one sold for fourteen thirty-three plus shipping. I bought a bunch of these. If you guys have been following me for any amount of time. You know that I had a lot of issues trying to identify these patches, but I'm glad to find uh, one that sold for decent money, fourteen thirty-three, and I think I got nothing into this one because I bought them all for eight bucks. I think I got a whole, I got a whole bunch of them guys for eight bucks, and I've been in the profits on them. Uh, although I do have like twenty-five of them, I still need to get listed, but some of them still, you know, just having problems identifying. But next sell. Real quick, guys, this is one of the reasons why I'm getting out of um, things that are breakable. So I got this ice maker and I just dropped it right and cracked the lid to the ice maker. Now I got to take this thing. Home. I got to take this thing home and super glue this and uh, relist it as broken. You know, that's just one of the reasons why. I'm trying to get out of this type of stuff, but that brings me to my next sell. My next sell is this Philips DVD VCR player. Um, I got that with most of this electronic stuff for uh, a total, I think I paid like 10 bucks for all this stuff from some lady that was running a fundraiser yard sale. Uh, this item sold for this item sold for thirty four dollars plus the buyer paid shipping. So I'm gonna take it home, get it packed up, and shipped out. This next item I don't have on me either. It's at home in that big giant Ziploc bag, but it's this um, denim and company um, fleece like velour type shirt. I've sold three of these. This would be the fourth. This one's purple. The rest of them were green, but uh. I don't know what it is about this. Maybe it's it's a QVC thing, guys. So I think that QVC has just got a good following with this type of stuff. So the ladies know what they like. And this is the fourth one of these to sell. So uh, $10, not a, not a lot of profit. I paid 82 cents for this and it sold. Uh, I think it sold in three days. So 82 cents and the 10 bucks in three days is not bad to me. The next item to sell is this um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Uh, it's the still book. I paid $2 for this. Uh, last, well, in the, I paid $2 for this during the yard sale season, guys. Uh, it's actually in a video. $2 into 10 bucks plus shipping. It'll go first class, so not a lot of profit, but still, it's an okay sale. Took a long time to sell, actually. I'm really surprised, so. I slashed the prices and ran a sale over the weekend for um, Christmas gifts to get bought by people in my store. And that was one of the sales to go out. This sale, I don't have on, on hand either. It's at my house already packaged up because the buyer bought it yesterday. And uh, they didn't pay for it until today. So this shirt is iron or they paid for it yesterday during Joey Bada Bing and uh, Drew's Live last night while I was doing my listing. So this iron and resin... It's a button-up flannel type shirt, sold for $29, and um, I got this last week at the Benz. It was a really quality shirt, man. You could just tell when you touched it, like the material was good, it was thick, and the buttons were like really good metal buttons. Um, just felt like money, so I picked it up. I paid, uh, let me see, I paid $1.40 for that shirt and sold it for $29 in a week. The buyer did pay shipping. It's heavy. It's a... Uh, two pounds is over two pounds it was over a pound so i put it in a padded flat rate envelope and the buyer is going to get that shipped out to them today the next item to sell is these american eagle jeans 
They're a uh, women's size six and they sold for $12 plus shipping. Uh, I got these last week at the Goodwill Benz too. Uh, I paid $1.40 for them. I had them listed for 16 bucks. Somebody sent me an offer of $12 and I accept it because why not? Uh, quick sell. Decent amount of little profit made off of it, and I should still make a couple bucks off the shipping as well because those will fit in a flat rate envelope. And the buyer paid eight eighty shipping, so well, I think it always says eight eighty shipping. So the buyer paid shipping, so I'll probably be able to make a dollar or so off the shipping as well. So a dollar forty and the twelve bucks, not bad, guys. So the next item going out is going to be these Royal Robins, like tactical, like kind of like hiking pants. Um, paid I think these are free because everything I got in this buy is already paid for but I sold these for a best offer of $12.75 and uh, it took about 3 or 4 months to sell but I'm just glad to see them go at this point honestly guys so guys that is going to be all the sales I have going out that's going to be the end of this video hopefully you guys like the content smash the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll catch you guys on the next one but until then let's make this cash guys peace